If you want to learn how to master any position within cybersecurity, I'm going to use my 25 years of experience to teach you a little trick that I've learned, especially in the end of this video. So when I'm mentoring, the most common thing I hear is, Mike, I want to be in cybersecurity. This excites me. It's a great field to work in. However, when someone says they want to get into cyber, it's like saying they want to play sports. Which sport do you want to play? Do you want to be in offensive security? How about GRC, governance, risk, and compliance? Even better, how about defensive security? Any of these paths that you choose can be extremely confusing. Picking a path is most important. Otherwise, it can be overwhelming. However, even after choosing a direction, the path isn't always clear. What if you're not learning the right SIM tool for the next job you apply for? Maybe you're learning Splunk, but what if your next job requires something else? Well, what if your boot camp is teaching you Nexpose, but there seems to be more demand for Nessus? I hear OpenVos is good, so maybe you should be learning that. Just maybe. Let me make this easy for you. No matter what tool you use, they all have one thing in common. It is one thing that hasn't changed much at all and is at the core of everything and how everything works, including every network as well as the entire internet. It's this simple thing called TCP IP. What is it? What does it stand for? It stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. Without getting technical, it's what makes every single device you have work. The cell phone you're watching this on uses TCP IP. Your laptop uses TCP IP. Everything that communicates over the internet uses TCP IP. Every defensive tool uses it. Every offensive tool uses it. If you understand it, you have the ability to understand any tool that exists. If you learn how TCP IP works and how to analyze network packets, you will already be ahead of most. So think of it like this. TCP IP is basically the motor of the internet. If you learn how cylinders, pistons, crankshafts, valves, and heads work, it doesn't matter what make or model the motor is placed in, you'll still understand how to drive the car. If you take an auto mechanics class, they don't start by teaching you different models of the car and how to drive them. They start by teaching you how the motor works. That way you can put the motor in any car and drive it. Don't get stuck worrying about which tool to learn. Learn the fundamentals and learn them well. If you want to be a blue teamer, understanding TCP IP and knowing how to analyze packets will give you the ability to drive any sim out there. But if you want to be a pen tester, understanding TCP IP and packets will help you determine your game plan for your attack. If you are pursuing GRC, understanding how the internet works, how networks work, will play a major part in helping an organization secure itself. If you're not willing to get your hands greasy and tearing the motor down, leaving the tools in the tool chest, it doesn't do you any good. You have to get your hands greasy and learn how the motor works. If you are willing, you'll be able to keep that motor, keep those networks running forever. If you want to spend time with me, feel free to subscribe or book a call. Send me a message. I love this field. Good luck in your journey.